Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris, and I'm here with Kathy. We are Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another another day's worth of what's olds for you today. Um, we didn't get to record yesterday. Uh, things just got out of hand. We didn't have time, and Kathy did a live with uh, Kat over the, at the Nurse Flipper, and that I'll let her talk about that. But um, yeah, we uh, we got the time difference wrong, and really sorry about that, Kat. <laughs> Um, anyway, about today, we have 26, uh, things going out today. This actually might be our best day in a long time, if not ever. Um, we had just over $600 in gross sales today. So we're super excited about that. Kathy's going to show you what has sold. All right. Yeah. So, uh, Kat at the Nurse Flipper, if you don't follow her, go follow her. Um, she sells a lot of different stuff than me, but a lot of stuff every day. She invited me to be on her live show last night and I agreed and then I was all ready for it. I literally, like we ate dinner at like four so that I could be ready because I thought it was at seven. And then I was just in my room doing laundry and really just waiting until I thought it was time. But apparently it was at like six my time because they're in Florida and two hours ahead. But I thought I had accounted for the time difference, but I didn't. So I was an hour late to the live that she invited me to do with her. And I have felt very embarrassed because I'm a very prompt person and I'm like never late to stuff like that. So. Yeah, we thought we were 30 minutes early. We right. were an hour late. <laughs> yeah. So she said she'll give me another try <laughs> one of these <laughs> days. So anyways, yeah. Sorry, Kat. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we'll just start with eBay. We actually had the most sales on Poshmark today, which is odd for me. But I felt like a lot of people were shopping during the debate last night, which I'm not complaining about. So. All right, but eBay first, um, and yeah, I've been sending offers all day because it's the last day of the month, and I just like to close out the months with a bang. Uh, first thing up, these are some men's Under Armour shorts. They are new with tag. I got them at the, it was either Marshalls or, it was one of the like Labor Day clearance sales. It might have been TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but I only have $2 into them, <clears throat> and they sold for $17 plus shipping. That is an offer I sent to a watcher. <coughs> okay, next up, this is just a Zara kids flannel. This was my son's shirt. I have $1.50 into it. He wore it a few times and I sold it for $8 plus shipping. Right. These are some men's Oakley flip flops. I got these at Plato's Closet. I did pay $7 for them um, just like a week or two ago. Um, it was in September that I got these. so. I listed them for 25 plus shipping and that's what they sold for so I like selling Oakley stuff it doesn't always go for a ton but I feel like it sells fairly quickly all right this I'm not going to take out because we worked it in there but it's just a Jax J-A-C-H-S uh, it's just a plaid flannel shirt I only picked this up because it was two bucks at like Salvation Army's two dollar day and I wasn't thinking about how much it might weigh and it was over a pound so I listed it for 18 free ship, but you can see the shipping cost me $7.52, so not a huge profit there, but yeah. Always think about how much something weighs before you pick it up. All right, then we got these Born Clogs. Um, I have $5.99 into these, and I listed them for 30 plus ship, but I sent an offer to a watcher today of 25 plus ship. She accepted, and she even wrote a note saying, thank you so much for the price break. So. People are appreciative of even a $5 discount, and I make most of my sales by sending a lower offer. So if you guys don't leave room in your prices, try it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then this is an Aiden and Anais uh, like swaddle blanket. I have $2 into this only because I purchased like a bundle from Kitizen where I wanted a couple items for my kids, and she had like 50% off deal going on. So I only have $2 and a couple cents into this. I have two other blankets that haven't sold yet though, but I only sold it for $7.95 free shipping and shipping was about $3.31 on this. So I was just trying to get my money back since I already got the other things I really wanted for my kids at a cheap price because I bought these blankets. And then same thing with this guy. Um, this is an Oshkosh floral overall with the onesie underneath. Um, so on Kitizen, I bought this along with a Patagonia jacket that I was just buying for flipping purposes. So this was $11. I knew I could at least get my money back on it, which is basically all I got. 
but the Patagonia jacket I sold right after I bought it and listed it and I made like a $25 profit on that which was what I was trying to do so anyways this finally sold for $13.50 plus shipping so you can see I'm just getting my 11 bucks back on that we got some stride right girls snow boots I actually have several pairs of these so you'll probably start seeing them as they start selling but this one sold for $20 plus shipping I had 550 into them minus 20% so a little under five bucks into those right, and then this just sold oh is this all of eBay yeah so that was it for eBay today and then we had a couple kids in sales just kidding one more eBay sale <laughs> All right, this is just a Billabong like thermal shirt. Um, I picked this up at the Dillard's discount over Labor Day sale, and I have like just under three bucks into it. It sold for thirteen dollars plus shipping. All right, so now kid is in. Um, this was my son's like H and M, just like a tuxedo vest. He wore this when we went on our cruise to like the formal dinner and. I got this from Goodwill, so I only have a buck into it, and it sold for ten dollars plus free shipping. So, shipping was three eighty-five. So I'm only making like four bucks, but I only paid a dollar for it, so I'm happy with that. And then this is another deal where I purchased a bundle, but only wanted a couple of the other things. So, I just bought this off Poshmark a few days ago, um, along with some collared shirts, which are the ones I wanted to keep. So I kept those. I only paid, she offered me three shirts for $13 plus the Poshmark shipping. So I have about $20 into three shirts. Um, but yeah, so I guess if you're looking at it that way, this shirt would be $6, but I'm just looking at it as this is all profit because I wanted the other two shirts anyways. But this only sold for $10 plus free shipping. So not huge money. We got some Mercari sales. Uh, these are just some little baby Nike shoes. I got these at a local thrift shop for two bucks fairly recently. Listed them for 20 plus shipping. Um, someone offered me 15 and I took that. These ones are a little more beat up than the ones I generally sell for like 25. So. Right, this is another one of my son's shirts. Um, it's just Zara. I actually got it off Kittison, I think for eight or ten bucks. He wore this several times and it even has like a hole starting along the seam, which I disclosed, but it still sold for seven dollars plus shipping. And then the last Mercari sale was these hazel blue joggers. Again, my son's item. Um, he never ended up wearing these. I planned to put that put him in these to go to a zoo trip and then COVID happened and we never went back to the zoo and now they're they're a size 2T and he's a size 4 now, so. Yep, it didn't fit him. So I just sold them for $30 plus shipping. I think I bought them for like 25 is what she sells them for. So basically just made my money back there. And yeah, the rest of the sales from today were from Poshmark, which was quite a bit. All right. So first up, this is that brand Roan. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but um, you'll probably see me selling these off for a while because I got a bunch of them but these are just the men's swim chunks and I they retail for 88 I listed on that 50 or 45 someone offered me 35 on this pair and I accepted um, I have $10 into each pair I got those on clearance um, last month so all right and then these Rothy's finally sold um, if you did I do a I think like we did some video. Instagram stuff these might have been in one of our haul videos a while yeah, back, but maybe. I've only ever found a couple pairs of Rothy's. This is the only adult pair, I think. I'm not sure. I found a single adult Rothy, but I don't think I've ever sold a pair, but this was my first pair. Um, I paid $5.99 for them, which is so funny to me because this Goodwill literally charges like $12 for Crocs and like Skechers and stuff. And these were just sitting on the shelf for $5.99, so. I wasn't mad about it. Um, I did a lot of research to make sure that they were legit Rothy's and not like a dupe or whatever because a lot of people are saying there's a lot of fakes. And we found that they were real. So I listed them really high. They are retired print and so you can't get them anymore unless you find them on resale. But uh, they've been listed for months now. I haven't got any offers. Last night someone offered 75. 
I debated countering because I really thought that they'd sell for at least 100 but I didn't want to lose the 75 and then nobody ever offer again and then Ruffies go out of style or nobody wants them anymore. So I took the 75, that's over a $50 profit and I'm really happy with that. All right, and then this is the brand Loa. These are some women's hiking boots. These retail for a lot, like over 200 bucks. I listed them at 100 and I've been sending offers to likers. Um, and then someone countered my offer to Liker last night at 58. So I just took it. I did pay $20 for these just because I thought I could get around 80, but you know, when someone offers me 58, I paid 20. I'd rather get that 20 back. Plus that's like a $25 profit as well. And keep moving that into more new inventory. So. All right, and then this is some fry shoes. Um, I have $10 into these. And I was worried these would take forever to sell, which they took a while, but not as long as I thought. They're a size five and a half, which I don't have great luck selling that small of a size, but they sold for $44. That was an offer somebody sent to me. And today these sold um, just some kids. I did pay $8 for these. I figured I could sell them for about $25 to $30. Um, and they are first class shipping, but someone offered me 20, which means I get 16 on Poshmark. So not a huge profit, but I went ahead and took it just cause it's the last day of the month. And I mean, I pretty much double my money. So <laughs> that's fine with me. If it wasn't the last day of the month, I might've countered because I've sold a few other of those pairs for around $30, so. All right, next up, this was also my son's vest. I really can't remember where I bought this, but I'm pretty sure it came from either like Once Upon a Child or a consignment seal, cause I don't remember buying it online or like at, like at Target or anything where it came from, so. Anyways, it sold for $12 with a shipping discount. I paid the $2 shipping discount, so I'm only making like $6.93, which is fine. I don't even think I paid that much for it, and we got some cute pictures wearing that. And then these two items sold to the same person, but separately. So um, I sent out offers to Lakers last night, and this person accepted this offer, which was... I think I listed it for 20 cent an offer for 14 with a shipping discount because it's been listed forever. It's just a Disneyland sweatshirt. Um, I have two bucks into it. And yeah, I think after the shipping discount, I'm getting $8.93. So not huge money, but happy to see that go. And then the same person got her offer to Likers on this sweater, which I think this sweater is just like from Walmart. It's like a holiday time sweater, but it has a reindeer with like little jingle bells on it. Anyways, I had it listed at 25 just because Christmas sweaters can do well sometimes, even though they're like, this was a cheap brand. Um, sent an offer for 20 and she declined it and said, I'll do it for 15 plus discount shipping. So I just took that because I bought that at the bins and I don't want to be stuck with it past Christmas and I'm happy with the smaller profit on a cheap item like that. So, all right, this wasn't again the best sale, but um, we're moving stuff. <laughs> and all the small profits definitely add up at the end of the month so this I just love this flannel I just wanted to buy it and put it in my shop and I'm gonna call this my Starbucks money because it I paid seven dollars for it and it only sold for sixteen dollars I do think I could have got more but since I did pay seven and I worried it might not ever sell I just took the 16 and I'll go buy myself the coffee for today um, that was the brand Dravis. I've never heard of it. I just thought it was a really nice flannel shirt. It was very thick and I didn't get to look up comps because in that Goodwill there's like no service. I just felt like it was good and I've done other flannels sell for like 35 bucks. But I think this one was sold at like Pack Sun, so it didn't retail for a ton. Alright, and then this was a decent little sale. This is a Roper women's like fleece line vest. I got this at an estate sale for five bucks. It's been a while now, over a year at this point. But I finally got an offer for 30. I had it listed at 50, so I took that offer of 30. If you guys watch our haul videos, you probably saw this Pendleton mug, which I said I bought for myself. And I did use it once or twice. It had a chip in it. And then I recently bought myself like three new Halloween cups and our cupboards are not very big so I needed <laughs> space for those so I decided to go ahead and sell this one um, 
I did pay $2 for it and I only sold it for $10 with a shipping discount. So basically doubled my $2. <laughs> Not huge money, but I did use it. And she gets these big mugs and then drinks like two ounces <laughs> of coffee. <laughs> so. All right, and then last sale of today was these Vans um, Chambray. They're like a Chambray dino print. These have been listed kind of a while. I do well with children's vans, but I don't know what it was about these ones. They weren't selling, so I got a new Liker today, and I sent offers to Likers of 21 with discounted shipping, and somebody accepted, so I did pay $5 for those, so I made about a $9 profit, I think. Yeah. All right, that is gonna do it for us today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you did make it this far in the video, uh, maybe you like reselling content definitely hit that subscribe button. This is kind of what we do here. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and pack these up and get them off to the post office. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.